if you remember, um, the first deadline was in June, mm -hmm. uh, expressed by per President Erdogan mm -hmm. and the Turkish ambassador in Brussels. It was Mr. before Yenek. the, the Phil Cup. It was before, but yeah. it was the first deadline. Yeah. So we have seen politicians uh, happily setting deadlines, but then the technical uh, parties get involved and we see that the solution is reached in one way or another. So there is no worry, maybe? No, no, it was always worry when you have to deal with refugee influx and maybe the March agreement, which is extremely important for Greece and for Europe, stands in place. We must not forget that you have the African road that's feeding Italy and through Italy, Europe, and then the deal is not yet in place. There is a deal like the one in Turkey about investment in Africa, which links uh, in, uh, migrants, economic migrants influx with investment in uh, African countries, but this is still open. But to come back to your uh, re reply, to my reply to your mm -hmm. question. The question of visa is very important. Out of 72 steps, the Turkish authorities have finished 68 and we have two major problems. One is the anti-terrorist law and there are many discussions in that point and I'm an optimist that we will find the solution and also is the practical because the practical issue because if you want to have uh, passports with biometric data you need to change the whole way the apparatus of the bureaucracy works so that may take time and this time which is in place cannot over Turkey cannot overcome that time may give Europe and Turkey the time they need to finalize the agreement. So yes, I'm an optimist that in October we will not have a meltdown on the relations because Turkey and Europe have no other future than trying to tighten the relations, either um, by setting a date for ascension, which is not for the present, or by going deeper and deeper, the customs union, the refugee, the crisis and the cooperation in Syria. And so we have a countries. lot to do with Turkey and Turkey has a big neighbor with huge economic ties that has to look upon. Uh, I, also made, of I the also made a visit to the Turkish Assembly and met with the speakers of the House and the leaders of the parties. Um, it seems that in Europe we have a misunderstanding, a misunderstanding on, on our conception because mm -hmm. our reply to the coup was very hesitant for some hours, not only the European leaders, but also the US leaders. Mr. Biden's first reaction was appalling. Um, we think that uh, democracy comes a la carte. When it is for a nation that we like, we react immediately. When it is for a nation that we have second thoughts, then we are hesitant. So you have an understanding with, for the tur Turkish position? We saw that the whole of the political spectrum in Turkey was against the coup and they supported and people came to the streets to defend Turkey. That was not understood by Europe. That's why the main sentiment in Turkey is that Europe betrayed them, that Europe was delayed. And this is not a sentiment worked by the governing party who feeds the nationalism. No, it's a sentiment coming from opposition, but also from parties of the, of, uh, the opposition, like the HDP, the, mm -hmm. uh, the simply, simply said, Kurd the Kurdish group that still supported the opposition to the, it has no need to fuel the Turkish nationalism, which is used against it. So yeah. we see the Turkish society for a moment stood still and defended against this coup. And this is something that Europe could not understand. Because and why we, that we Mr. Were late, Schultz, your president, appeared in Ankara appeared only some days on 1st of September? Because we do not know how to place the equilibrium. We, on the one hand, we needed to support to so, so solidarity for the democracy of Turkey. On the other hand, we have to be critical, as my colleague said, about the violations of the rule of law. It's impossible to jungle these balls and we have shown it. The resolutions we have are not for us to have a nice conversation in the parliament. Either they have an impact in Turkish society and government or it's, it's no need to have them. So now we lost a step. We must go back and see how we will again connect with all the forces in Turkey that have a European uh, orientation. And they, these forces also felt betrayed because of lack of uh, immediate reaction to the coup. So this first must be taken by Euro first. For example, we in our uh, joint parliamentary committee, uh, we have a discussion. Usually they come here on the first uh, of each year in September, so they should, should come here. So we have an idea of proposing having the JPC hold in Ankara 
in the parliament that was bombed to show, show that Europe shows solidarity and from that point of solidarity can also express concerns about the human rights, about the freedom of the press, about the reforms in the judicial. We gain the moral ground and then we use it to cooperate with the forces in Europe that look upon, in Turkey, that look upon Europe. This is the way that I see things. Yes. I think to schools also. So yes, and the so Eulenis <coughs> movement is not um, something integral. It has many faces. Uh, and that is the reason why we in uh, Europe, in the world, cannot understand the links it has in the Turkish society. Mm -hmm. Because it was not born yesterday or in uh, five years ago. It has a long history. And for most part of this history, it was somehow linked also with President Erdogan because they were supporting yeah, we the same They issues. were very close. Until the 2013 clash. So this is something that uh, gives us uh, an idea why we have to be hesitant. And of course, blanket arrests in thousands are not accepted. The only way that you can uh, control a, a movement that caused a coup is to find the guilty ones, the ones that perpetrated the actions, and send them to jail. Not to uh, run after everybody who at a certain point enter a, a Gulen school or express an opinion because it was deep in the Turkish society and it's like hunting witches. It's something that the, uh, the, the government wants to show, to show force that when you know we have the coupists, the officers that did the coup, so they are guilty and by association everybody else is guilty. No the roots, and there are very simple people that were part, not of the movement that had targeted Turkish democracy, but of the Gulen's faith, let's say, if somebody can speak about faith in such terms. So we in the West cannot accept uh, arrests by the thousands because of occupation. Not only arrests. For example, the Macedonian government uh, stated that they will accept some of the requests of the Turkish government means to close some of the establishment, like, I don't know, we maybe it, it, it will Turkey be the school or the Zaman you know, newspaper. It is a way out of this. We have the U.S. case. The uh, Turkish government is asking for Gulen to be extradited so, yeah. to, to Turkey. They should present the facts. And if these facts are accepted by the U.S. court, then we have a precedence and we can discuss about schools in Belgium. Until then, we don't have any requests already for Belgium. So it is moving on that direction. And I'm sure that after some time passes, some of these uh, blanket arrests mm -hmm. and all these purges will thin down and disappear. But we must not forget 250 people are dead. More than 2,000 are maimed, some of them for life. So the change of the hardcore of a Gulen organization, if it was behind the coup, to a terrorist organization did not but happen still because of thoughts of beliefs. It came because they killed people, they bombed the parliament, they shot people on the streets, they moved armed forces to kill Turkish civilians. That's what turned the perpetrators of a group in a terrorist organization. I'm told, not mm -hmm. saying that the Gulenist movement is behind that because I don't have the data, mm -hmm. but I say what the Turkish government says and the distinction it does now for the Gulenist movement has a base because the perpetrators of the group, in any, wherever they were coming from, now they fought against democracy and they should be punished. But these, not anyone that they know mm -hmm. or their families, that many, many of them now are without any means of survival. This is the rule of law, as we say, in Europe, and that's why we will have to do your next discussion about opening the chapters to see what this rule yeah. of law okay, is about. Point. It is very important to have a roadmap because rule of law is an idea, if you say like that, but if you have... Uh, Concrete judiciary. Con exactly, yeah. then you know, and you, as my colleague said, you can engage the Turkish society and government. So, but, but why why, why we, we are not open? using this We both new agree that they should the open it. Most of the Europeans, if you fit think uh, positively, all these chapters must open. But there is, uh, we, I spoke here before about the customs union. The customs union allow any European ship or plane to go to uh, Turkish uh, ports, ports and airports. With an exception, Turkish uh, Cypriot boats cannot go and Cypriot plane cannot land. This is something that shows that Turkey takes Europe a la carte. So Cyprus, the democracy of Cyprus, for the moment, is blocking these chapters because they say you get the European 
uh, community, you get the European planes, all except Cypriotic, from, Greek, uh, from the side of the, the democracy of Cyprus. Why do you do that? Europe is a whole. You cannot pick and choose whatever you like. But to go over that objection, we know that the problem but of missing Cyprus... missing the opening of these two chapters is the reason of worsening Cyprus the is not is not afraid of opening the chapter, it's afraid of closing the chapters. Yeah. I have to stop so because they look we saw huge from apart. They look they huge, huge from apart, reality. but basically uh, they are there what was their efficiency until now. No, no. And That's why I say they yeah. were huge from apart. And they we see, like and I'm sorry, we saw what happened to Camp Moria, which was visited by Pope Francis and, you know, a uh, couple of months ago, and now it's burned down, then we see really Terrible the agreement of on. March uh, has many legs. One was that Turkey cooperates with Europe and the flow is uh, very low. As my colleague said, now it's a trickle. The second leg was that 50,000 people from Greece will be relocated to the other countries. Only 5,000 have been relocated because the European countries delay any action. The third was that we will work with uh, Turkey about making the future of Syrian more attractive in Turkey and not in, uh, in passing the Aegean. So if we do not fulfill all these three, then people will be slowly, slowly added to our islands. In Moria is an example of that. And you, if you keep adding people and not allowing them to leave, then you have explosions. And we are in the verge. If Moria was a uh, fire, was a small disaster, but we are looking at even worse symptoms. So, Europe must immediately continue the relocation. It's amazing to say that national proposals are not a solution and then keep these proposals on the table and all countries of Europe except France, Germany and Portugal are not taking refugees. They're not becoming Bulgaria because we also have the same problem. But there are countries are delaying the action. To conclude, so danger, we, but we must keep our eyes open. The most important thing that EU has to do is to understand that next three months the problem of Cyprus must be solved. And the keys to that problem are held by Mr. Erdogan to, re to re withdraw 40,000 troops of the island and leave both communities to a green federation. It's three months because after that Obama goes, Ban Ki-moon goes, the Greek, pre the Greek Cyprus president goes. So it is either now or the doors for Turkey to Europe will be shut down for 10 years because a divided island will never allow Turkey to be part of Europe. My impression and my belief is that these three months Europe should do the utmost and we have a positive outcome. And after 40 years, there will be no more Cyprus problem, no more problems with opening chapters. Mr.